All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming clear from your side. Uh, please let me know if you have any uh, difficulty uh, regarding hearing my voice. Uh, today I'm um, I set up uh, uh, Facebook and Google in the same time, so the screen in front of me is really busy, and I have a hard time to see where I am. So. Uh, let me see how it is coming from your side first. Please inform me if you have any difficulty in the sound. Let us see here. Um. <clears throat> All right, the sound is good. Okay. Let us see here. Mm. Okay. Anyway, uh, today uh, our topic is very simple as usual, answering Muslims about what they claim and what they say about their religion. And today we have a question coming from a Muslim. Uh, about uh, let us read together actually what was the question let me open the question and see what this uh, gentleman he said and actually we encourage all the Muslims to ask questions and we accept the challenge about your questions uh, please guys share the share the link of YouTube I did not post anywhere that I did open um, which means most of people do not know because already we told everybody at 4 30 we will be here I mean why I need to invite people so uh, the Muslims always they come to us with the questions and those questions uh, it, they might be silly sometimes but if you think about it those can be a very serious questions against Islam so the Muslims they create those questions in order supposedly uh, to make you suffer from uh, a problem like you know your faith is not good your 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 religion is not good this is a question came from a Muslim And as I told you, I don't prepare for a topic. I always look in, you, in uh, Facebook and see what Muslims are talking about. And then from there we go. All right. Uh, this gentleman, his name Saleh Khadur. Uh, Saleh Khanur, sorry. He said, as you see here, can demon, can demon resist the Lord? Can demon resist the Lord? Okay. Try it in a process of ev evoking the spirit open the recorder directly on the Quran or the Bible or any other religious book and you will know the correct book which means the correct answer which one is having the power over the demon and I find it very funny when a Muslim he says that first of all in Islam, there is nothing is called demon. So when this guy he is talking about talking about what? Do you even believe in demon in Islam? Who is the Muslim want to show me where in Islam you Muslims believe in demon? Since when? Is that something new? Is that like a fashion show? It was not last year. Today is exist. So when a Muslim he speak. Uh, about demon I asked myself but this is not Islamic so here we need to make a correction for this Abdul this Abdul is illiterate in his religion if not maybe he's trying to adjust his religion to fit with our understanding so he use demon and the word spirit Muslim don't believe in demon and don't believe in evil spirit Muslims believe in something called jinn And jinn himself is a shaitan. Now, the jinn can be shaitan, which means a, a bad jinn, and can be a good jinn, supposedly. Actually, the Muslim, they believe there is a jinn who is a Muslim, and there's a jinn who is a Christian, and there's a jinn who is a Hindu, even a jinn who is an atheist. 
so jinn is a form of a creation but they are not created the same as a human being from mud and clay they are created from fire and smoke and shaitan himself is one of the jinn so what this guy is saying to us can your book when he say the Lord here and then he mentioned the book he's asking you can the jinn because remember he don't believe in demon and demon are not jinn some some uh, some naive Christians they, they don't want to listen we keep saying to them demon is not a jinn demon is not a jinn demon is a spirit jinn is a creature who have a penis they have a balls you have sex even with Muslim women you can go right now and search on Google about a guy complaining that genie female have sex with him or a genie male have sex with her. All right. So don't fool yourself and don't, you know, don't mix things. The funny about many of the Christians, even those who claim to be priests and ministers, right away they, they, uh, they imply their own belief in someone else's belief. So when the Muslim he said jinn, the, the Christian right away he think he's talking about demon. They don't have demon. And that is always you see everywhere Christians they are suffering from education issue even those who claim to be uh, 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 bishops because they are copy paste there's nobody really is searching studying before how do you know did you study Islam no so how you know that the genie is that it is, uh, is the same as a demon where do you get this from the same when you go to church and they will say to you that the Muslims are from Ishmael who is the donkey told you that where do you get this from? Copy paste. He heard it from somebody. Somebody heard it from somebody. Heard it from somebody. It's going for centuries that those are the Ishmaelis, and nobody want to ask himself where we get this from. Now, the Muslim now is putting your book into a test, and putting his book into a test I wish I can play for you videos about Muslims fighting demon they fight demon by beating women by belt now for sure there's somebody some some people who claim to be Christians too they do crazy stuff and they have this is satanic this is have nothing to do with Jesus you will see some people doing things ugly things you know they claim to be Christians they are fake and they are fraud they are especially like in Africa in certain places same as the Muhammad you see Muhammad it's just a person exists in his time and he was trying to take advantage of the naive ones and today there is people who take advantage of the na naive ones everywhere in Europe in America in Africa Muhammad is exists still but have different faces different languages different uh, names uh, different color he is there Muhammad is there and you know exactly what I'm saying when Muhammad is still there he just to change his faces he changed his name but Muhammad is there in case you do not know Muhammad what Muhammad mean Muhammad mean the praised one Muhammad mean the praised one and then ask yourself who is the one who will dare to call himself the praised one second you call yourself the praised one you just claim to be God that's it let us show you something I just went to a Muslim website all right this is not my website I just search in Google, you know, I normal search, not a big deal. And you can do the same. Muhammad, the praised one. The name Muhammad means the praised one. The terms appear in Hebrew. Uh huh. Look at this. The term appear in Hebrew. Remember, this is a Muslim website. They are the one who make terms and conditions. <laughs> okay. Muhammadim. Muhammadim. So the Muslims they confirm to you that Muhammadim is Muhammad. Okay, let us say for the sake of argument, this is a true. But Muhammad is not the name of a person. 
Muhammad is a title and he just said the praised one if Muhammad is the praised one who is the praised to for God's sake hmm? if Muhammad is the praised one so who is the praised to if Muhammad is the praised one so who is Allah Allah actually he praised Muhammad when you see the Muslims they say after the name of Muhammad when they speak especially in Arabic or they translate the hadith they say Muhammad s a w I'm sure all of you you saw that s a w or s s w sorry s uh, they use a as instead of uh, 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 you know w yeah S A W Sallallahu Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which means Allah salute is uh, pray on him and salute him. <laughs> Allah Himself, He pray on Muhammad and He salute to Muhammad. For Muhammad is the praised one. So now, as long Muhammad He claimed that He is the praised one, we will use the same question this Muslim He used. And the question was, can demon resist God for Muhammad himself is the God of Islam he just the Muslim just told us that Muhammad name mean the praised one that's what they say and they said even his name is exist in the Bible now if you have my books you know you will find that Muhammad name is not really Muhammad Muhammad is a name he claimed to himself the same he's trying to make himself the same as the Christ the Christ have a personal name and have a title. Christ is a title. Jesus is the name. In his Islam, uh, his name is Isa. But Isa, the Messiah, have a title which is the Messiah. So Muhammad is trying to have a title too. So he chose a name to be in comp competition with Jesus. Muhammad he said in the hadith I came to erase Christianity and Judaism this is why he called himself Muhammad his real name is Qatham so if we examine now this question can a demon resist the Lord look let us put this into a test let us do that all of you heard in the hadith that Muhammad said Muhammad said that dogs will not enter a house have dogs sorry uh, angels will not enter a house have dogs correct they will never enter a house has dogs can God resist dogs <laughs> if your God cannot even fight a dog he is scared he think he will get dirty because of the dog how you tell me about fighting demon a little tiny dog is scaring the hell of your god allah all what i need to do now to stop allah from coming to my house just a little puppy Have you ever heard of such a God? He is afraid from a puppy? Weird religion. Now, if we go to the Hadith and check that out, you are asking us how we can resist a demon, but you don't ask yourself how Muhammad himself was controlled by black magic. And according to the Quran, magic is from the devil. So we can say it's a demonic thing as a Christians, and you can say it's from Satan as a Muslim. If we go to the Quran right now, and this is the Quran, as you know, always we use Muslim website, we don't use ours, we don't use our translation. Even I don't agree with Muslim translation, but no problem, don't worry, be happy. We go to the Quran <clears throat> and uh we do little search
Just little search. Your prophet in the Quran, he had many claims. Many, many, many claims. And all of them, I find them hilarious and funny and crazy. As an example, your prophet, he claimed that Mr. Shaitan, hmm, he have a children. We have babies. Let us see. <clears throat> Actually, uh, read with me carefully. In chapter 18, verse number 50, chapter 18, verse number 50, the God of Islam himself is ordering mankind to worship the devil. Actually, not mankind, the angel, sorry. Read with me carefully. Behold, and here the devil, the devil is who? Is worshipping the man. Because who is the one who is claiming to be God? Is the man, right? The man who claimed to be God. The man who don't want to obey God. And here we go. Allah himself is ordering the angels to bow down to Adam. In this scenario here, Adam must be the devil. Why? Because when you are an angel and now you have to bow down to Adam, then you are replacing the true God with the fake God. And the fake God is always the devil. So Muhammad here, he claimed that his God is the one who established a religion where angels bow down to a man, not to a God. Behold, we say to the angels, bow down to Adam. They bow down except Iblis. So the story starts from here. Can a demon resist the true God? You remember, guys, the question? Do you remember it? The question of the Abdul was, can a demon resist the true God? This is not my question. This is his question. So just to remind you, look what happened in the Quran. What he called him demon, which is a genie, not a demon. Not only he resists God, he disobey God. Okay. So Allah, he explained to us who is this Iblis. And Iblis, by the way, is additional proof that Islam is a false religion. Because if Allah is speaking to the Arab, why he is using the word Iblis? Go right now and search in Google. Where is the word Iblis coming from? And you will find that Islam is a false religion. Allah is learning from the, the Greece, the Greek and the Roman, the names of the devil. He is getting the, the name from there. Like you see, if, if Quran was written in Greek language, the same as the Bible, we would say, okay, you know what? It's in Greek. But this is an Arabic book. Same as he did when he speak about the Injil. Why Allah used the word Injil? The Muslim, they say to us that Isa is a messenger was sent to the Jews. I mean, how crazy is that? That he was sent to the Jews, but yet his book is in jail, which is a Greek word. So the guy is a hero, but his book is a Greek. Why? He printed in Greek and he published it there. Maybe the Jews used to live in Greek, in Greece. Maybe. I mean, maybe. <laughs> now let it go. So here Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down to Mr. Adam, except Iblis, he reject to do so. And here you will find another another stupid or stupidity in Islam. Now, by the way, when I use the word stupid, I'm not insulting. I'm just being truthful. Guys, if Iblis is one of the jinn, do you see it? Who is the one saying that? Allah, not me. I just told you there's no demon in Islam. And here the proof. Iblis is not a demon. He is a genie. And genie in different verse in the Quran it says that they, they are created from fire and from smoke. Anyone notice with me something really funny and stupid there? Let us see who is of you from Facebook or from from uh, uh, from YouTube can give me an answer. What is funny there? 
uh, people in Facebook, please, if you don't mind, share the link of the broadcast so people will know that we are here. If you don't mind. Anyone can tell me what the problem? Anyone notice there is something wrong? Who want to tell me? Is breaking the command of one Lord? Well, no, no. There is there is something in the details, in the details about the about the people there in that story. It is about the people who they are, in the story. Okay, let me make it simple for you. Christian Prince, he have ten cats and one dog. Christian Prince, he said to all the cats, say meow. All the cat they say meow except the dog. <laughs> and then I get upset from the dog. Have you ever heard of a stupid story like this? Allah he ordered the angels to bow down. So why he is upset from the genie for not bowing down? The genie is not an angel. Guys, learn how to read carefully with me. We said to the angels, do you see the word angels? Okay, so the order was given to who? To the angels. So why for sake of God, you expect Mr. Iblis to bow down? You said all cats say meow. So why you are angry because Mr. Dog did not say meow? You did not say to him say meow? You ordered that you ordered the angels, and as you see, he just said he spanked himself, saying, Except Iblis, and Iblis was one of the jinn. Like, what the heck? You order all the cat to say meow, and you expect the dog to say meow too. He is not a cat, and you did not even spoke to him, you spoke to the cats, all cats say meow, meow. Okay, now we got it. So why you are expecting how you can say except you see when you say except it's an exception which means there's one of the group and he just said that this is not even an angel so how he can be an exception if he is not from the group are you getting the point so when we say Islam is a stupid religion it is a stupid religion, but the problem, my friend, that people when they read, they don't use their brain too much. I mean, people they are relaxed, like okay. Allah He said to the angels, bow down, accept uh, please. And okay, nobody noticed anything because nobody is trying to squeeze a little bit of his brain to see what there is something wrong in the story. This is stupid. Especially the Muslims believe that there was only one genie. There is millions of angels. But there is one genie they say to you oh because the majority are angels and the genie is only he is the only genie so allah he ordered everybody by saying oh angels that will make it even more stupid because if there is only one genie between all the angels that means not only he is not a belong it's a person belong to the group he is a total exception in everything absolute exception he is unique so he cannot be included if God he have in heaven 1,000 animal all of them they are elephant you cannot say all elephant eat plant and you are angry from the lion who is the only lion there for not eating grass because simply he is not an elephant anyway and he is not you did not spoke to him he is not included his name is not in the list so here we will find from the beginning that the muslim they fail with their own test when they say to us, can a demon resist God? Well, the demon resists God in your religion. And here we go. He is disobeying him. 
but that will not make any difference for me I can say okay Muhammad is just copying stories from religious before him but the story have roots and the story will become more complicated soon as you know the Muslims here in the same verse we are reading it says that mr. genie or mr. shaitan he have children and this is one of the funny things about Islam they have a lot of fiction stories they put it in their Quran and the Muslims when they when you read for them their stories they deny it but it's in front of you it says that shaitan have two children but remember the Muslims agree there was only one shaitan one Iblis Iblis is the father of all the devils supposedly and now the Quran is saying that he have this Iblis he is going to have a children's or he have already during the time he mentioned this if we go to understand this we will find that the Muslim believe that shaitan Allah, Allah created for him a penis in the right leg and a vagina in the left leg so he want to have sex with himself he just shake his legs and then at the end of the day he lay 10 eggs and from every egg 70 devil female and male will come out true story I mean what you can say and here in the verse you will see Allah saying supposedly will you take him and his children's as a protectors rather than me rather than me so anyone who take shaitan as a protector or commander rather than Allah is a devilish person is a satanic man then let us go and check it out we will find that Muhammad did that if we go to the hadith we will find and right away the Muslim they will say to you this is weak brother this is weak brother brother <laughs> this is very weak brother mm. and no it is not weak it is very fat read with me please Sahih Muslim Sahih Muslim There is none amongst you with whom is not attached from amongst the jinn and the Muslim between two, two brackets to tell you what they mean. What does that exactly mean? He meant the devil. And actually the Quran confirmed that, that Allah, he made for every human being a devil as a companion. They are the companions said Allah messenger with you too which means the people they said to him Allah messenger with you too whereupon or thereupon he said yes 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 I have one too but Allah helps me against him so I am safe from his hand and he does not command me what the heck but for good remember the verse we showed you in the chapter of the cave it says are you going to take the shaitan as a command over you as a protector as a leader are you muhammad did it muhammad claiming that his shaitan remember it is the muslim who said the word devil there Muhammad he claimed that the devil he gave him orders and commands but he claimed that those commands are good commands have you ever heard of a good devil since when there's a good devil and bad devil bad cop good cop <laughs> so we go back to the question to the Muslims can your Lord 
can your Lord overcome the devil can your Lord uh, can your book resist demon and then now we see failure we see that here we have a devil controlling and commanding Muhammad and this is by the help of Allah which mean Allah is not only he is resisting not resisting the devil he is helping him to take over his prophet Am I heard very good guys in uh, in Facebook? Please let me know if you have any difficulty. Now we continue. As long as we can fight the demon by playing some Quran. So what was the problem with Muhammad? When he himself was controlled by the demon I'm using my Christian term remember the Muslims don't believe in demon this is you Muslims and this is the wife of your prophet claiming that her husband mr. Balbula he used to be under the command and the control of the bad demon in other way, you Muslims claim that he was bewitched, and you know exactly what bewitched mean, right? Don't tell me you never heard by the term of the word bewitched. When we say somebody is bewitched, it's mean he is in the control of the voodoo, of the demon. Uh, for by the way, we don't believe in the voodoo. I mean, I'm just trying to show the Muslims what what they are trying to say. Uh, let's see. Let's find the word bewitched. All right. Hmm. Where is the hadith? Where is the hadith? Okay. This search engine sometimes is very weird, you know. You search for something, you find something else. It's not. Where is the hadith? We will find it. Don't worry. Don't worry. We look for different statement. Read with me, please. For the sake of your God, Allah, the leg, Muslims, read with me. You Muslims, you Muslims, you, not us, say that your prophet was bewitched. Once the prophet was bewitched. You just told us <laughs> that you have a bewitched prophet and you Muslims you were following a bewitched prophet you know uh, uh, for me I don't go by English I go by Arabic Arabic is my first language in Arabic it's really horrible it says let us read حدثني محمد بن المثنى حدثنا يحيى حدثنا هشام قال حدثني أبي عن عائشة أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم سحر حتى كان يخيل إليه أنه صنع شيئا فلم ولم يصنع. What the heck is that? You see the Muslims did not report the whole story. They give you just the core of it. Once was the prophet bewitched, so he began to imagine that he had done a thing which in fact had not done. 
So what do you mean if we play a recording, we can fight the demon? Your prophet was not playing the recording of the Quran? Your prophet at that time, he was not reciting the Quran. He was a kafir. Maybe he joined the communist. I mean, what, what's wrong with Muslims? Do even Muslims know what they are saying? You just get your prophet busted. You just got your prophet busted with no mercy. This is why I'm very thankful for the Muslim Abdul when they speak about a challenge. Why Musa was not bewitched? Why Jesus was not bewitched? Why Adam was not bewitched? You see, the Satan, he mislead Adam and Eve, but did not bewitch him. This is far beyond sin. This is a full control. The demon have full control of Muhammad to the point Muhammad is not aware of what is done and what is not done. Muhammad, he has no idea. What's going on? And yet the Muslim, he is asking us, well, you would, what about you try this? Play a recording for the Quran, play a recording for the Bible, uh, play a recording, uh, uh, you know, uh, for uh, whatever book you have. And let us see who is the one is going to win. And then we find that Muhammad, <laughs> not only he was suffering from what the Muslims call genie, and that is shaitan he was mr shaitan was having a full control of muhammad to the point muhammad cannot remember and he cannot know what he is doing for real and not only that the muslim themselves says bewitched and the word bewitched mean full control and this is not a week uh, if the muslim says to you this is weak this is sahih al-bukhari my friend what week what week? The only week is Islam. You see, when the Muslim he says to you, this is weak because Muslims and Islam are weak. How come when somebody says to us uh, that the Bible says so, we don't say to him, this is weak. Weak is a way of escaping reality. They don't want to face reality. So they say to you, this is weak. Islam is weak. But that will not help you. Any Muslim can explain to us how Allah allow Mr. Shaitan to control Mr. Muhammad. What was wrong? Or what went wrong? The power of the Quran, the power of the word of Allah was not functioning at that time. Something very weird in this religion. Stupidity versus intelligence. They spend the day telling us that the Quran is the powerful book. The Quran is an amazing book. The Quran is a blob, and then we find that the Quran is a shish kebab. And Muhammad himself was infected and he was bewitched. Let me do some voodoo on Muhammad. 
שיש כבוב, שיש כבוב, פלאפל שיש כבוב. מוחמד, מוחמד, שיש כבוב. Now, מוחמד, in his grave, by the way, is under my control. All right, I see his underwear is moving. What's wrong with you, Muslims? How God, he allowed his prophet. You see here, shaitan is not trying to tempt Muhammad. This is not about temptation. He tried to tempt him. The Muslim will say to you, do you know that Jesus, uh, shaitan, he tried to tempt him? He tried, but he was not success successful. Tempted. Tempted is an act of shaitan against you. But was he successful or not? Jesus overcome Satan. Muhammad, he is totally submissive to shaitan. When you Muslims, you say to us that shaitan bewitched your prophet. And if in case you don't remember, if you don't remember, who is the one who taught the black magic? Just to show you that the real shaitan here is Allah. Allah, he sent two angels from heaven. One, his name is Harut, and the other one, his name is Marut. Let's switch to Arabic. You know, Jesus, he was walking by a person who have a demon inside him. He, he forced the demon to go out of him by 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 an order a right away the demon they jump into the sheep and the sheep they jump from the cliff this is the power of Jesus we have Muhammad himself is controlled by the demon and not only that Muhammad himself he jumped from the cliff I can show you right now how the how the hadith confirm that Muhammad was trying many times to jump from the top of the cliff from the top of the high mountain All right. Read with me, Abdul. If we compare between the story was given to us in the Bible about a person who was controlled by the demon and how the Messiah was able to free him from the demon and how the demon, they went inside that person and they made from inside the person they went into the to the animals and those those uh, sorry pigs they they jump from the from the from the cliffs the demon control over the pigs here the demon control over muhammad and now we will see how muhammad he tried to do exactly what the pigs try to do he tried to jump from the top of the cliff of the mountain. Read with me carefully. The prophet became so sad, and as we have heard, he intended several times to throw himself from the tops of the high mountains, and every time he went to the top of the mountain in order to throw himself down, Gabriel would appear to him, say, Oh, Muhammad, you are indeed the messenger of Allah. So we have pigs trying to jump from the top of the cliff or they jump from the top of the cliff for demon they get inside them and we have muhammad who is a prophet confirmed by the muslims that he was under control of demon or under the control of shaitan genie as they call him Any Muslim have a comment? Any Muslim can explain to me why the story is so much similar between the pigs jumping from the top of the cliff? Hmm? What, what exactly? What is the problem? Why Muhammad, he doing exactly the same as the animals when they jump from the top of the cliff? Let us go to the Bible and see a little bit. <clears throat> 
Oh boy. What Jesus did to those demons? What Jesus did to those demons? And behold, they cried, they cried out, saying, What we have to do with thee, Jesus, the Son of God, are thou come here to torment us before the time? And there was a good way off for them, and a hard of many swine feeding. So the devils, the devils, what happened? The story, you can read the story. Huh? What happened? The devils, the demon, they jump into the pigs, and the pigs, they jump then from the cliff. That's exactly what happened to Muhammad. He tried many times to jump from the top of the high mountain. Actually, I should make a short video about it so you guys can download it and share it around. Any Muslim can explain to me how come a prophet of God he tried to commit suicide many times? And you Muslims, you say to us, you confirm to us that Muhammad is a possessed man, he is a bewitched man. So I'm not surprised to hear that Muhammad trying to commit suicide many times. I'm not surprised at all. That is a true Muhammad. Muhammad the madman, Muhammad the bewitched man. It's very normal to have Muhammad described as bewitched by Muslims because this is exactly who is this man is. He is under the control of the devil. And it's not me who is saying that. It is their own words and his wife. As you see here, the one is speaking here is the wife of Muhammad. I have nothing to do with this statement. I know the Muslim, they would love to kill me. And they are, they are violent people for what I say, but who care? You know, I'm not. I'm not afraid of anyone. Your prophet is a false man. You like it, you don't like it. You want to kill me, you don't want to kill me. I don't give it. Sorry, I don't want to use a bad word. This is the last of my concern. I wrote books against Islam, and Muhammad is an idiot. He is the idiot, not of the village of the globe. And this is all is proven in your books. A guy, and guys, just to make it more hilarious, look what Muhammad said. We better change the topic because then more and more ideas will keep coming to my head. Hold on. <sighs> what I can do, I mean, as they say in China, he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. Dr. Muhammad, he have a solution even for demon. How Muhammad he fight demon? Muhammad he fight demon by seven ajwa. Ajwa, in case you do not know, is a palm tree date fruit. The date fruit. The Prophet said, who said? Who said? Dr. Muhammad, please don't say the apostle. Please change your... Don't, Muslims, stop saying to us that he is apostle of God. He was doctor of God. So, Dr. Muhammad, oh, I'm typing in Arabic. Hold on, let me switch. Dr. Muhammad, Dr. Muhammad, I have a solution for any problem. Let us assume that Zakir Naik right now is with us and he want to tell us about Muhammad medicine and solution for demon. Brother the sister, somebody asked me a question. What is the solution if somebody have a demon? First of all, we Muslims we don't believe in demon. Those are the Christian belief. So don't make things up. Secondly, uh, you the, the first one in the front line, please. 
بليز بوت ذا امبريلا ان ذا سايد اي سبيت از اي ويز اف يو دونت لايك ات يو جو اوت سو فورت اوف اول ذا بروفيت هي سايد اند هي واز ذا دكتور اوف هيز تايم ذا بروفيت هي دونت هاف ديجري هي دونت هاف سيرتيفيكيت هي دونت ايفن هاف درايفنج لايسنس However, still he can be, and he is the doctor of all time because Allah occupied him with the knowledge. So Dr. Muhammad, beat upon him, he said, if you eat seven adwa, no poison and no bewitching can control you. And me, myself, I tried that. This is why I'm very healthy. And if you turn, please don't turn the fan on because if you turn it on, I will fly. I'm so thin. What the heck was this religion? This guy is telling us an advice. If you eat seven ajwa, you can fight demon. Why? Is it... Hello? How we can fight demon by eating ajwa? If there is any Muslim in the bushes. If there is any Muslim in the bushes, can you explain to me how stupid this cult is? We are going to fight demon by eating ajwa. Should I order some ajwa now? And the funny would make it more funny that Muhammad died by poison, and as we showed you, he is controlled by magic. <laughs> which means he have both Dr. Muhammad he could not save himself he died by poison and he was under the control of the voodoo the black magic so where is your ajwa I don't know what to say man I don't know if there is any uh if there is any Muslim here who is a Muslim would like to say something be honest with me I, I, I know you are speechless and this is why you Muslim don't call me to debate me I understand I mean who in the world is going to debate me you must be crazy to dare to debate me you must be seriously crazy to dare to the even to try the Messiah our Lord, he loved the world. He did not send the black magic as the Quran says in the story of Harut and Marut. Allah sent the black magic so the man and the wife will fight and they will have a divorce. That is not from the love of God. That is from the hate of Satan. Our God is a loving God, merciful given he is willing even to give himself to save you we don't have isa the coward who took the first car and he ran away to the heaven and he left somebody behind him to die that is a cowardly behavior if you are a muslim and you dare to call me please feel free if you have the courage and the knowledge posting statements in Facebook and they will not help your prophet as you see your prophet he died by poison and he was controlled by magic and his ajwa did not help him neither his God and it's very funny that Muhammad is trying to fight magic by ajwa but yet the Muslims they want to fight magic by Quran I mean, do you think Muhammad, he have a lack of knowledge or something? Why Muhammad, he said, the one who do uh, the Quran, you know, actually, I can show you. He said some, some, something like that. But here he, he come to the Ajwa. The power of the Ajwa. Hmm. And what make it more funny, if you eat seven Ajwa, I mean, look at this. Not six Ajwa, not five Ajwa. Seven Ajwa. Seven is the secret password. If you eat six Ajwa, you are going to be infected by magic and you will die by poison. If you eat five or eight, is not good.
if you eat nine ten no 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 it have to be seven and only seven seven ajwa I mean do you see how serious this recipe is this doctor he tell you exactly how much you need to eat of ajwa no more no less that's astonishing seven ajwa that remind me of uh, a brother Ishmael, the one who used to be a Muslim, and he made a video about the seven dollars and eleven cents. Look like it's a habit in Islam, you know. Everything is seven. Muhammad, he copy names, he copy numbers, he copy everything from somebody, and he stuck with them. Seven Ajwa, seven heaven, seven eleven, seven 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 seven. The one who says thirty, the one. See, there's numbers. He stole them from other belief, and he stuck with them. And now, Muhammad he is telling us that if you eat seven Ajwa, you will not be infected by magic or poison. But Muhammad died by poison, and he was controlled by magic. And all those references which make it more funny is brought to us by the Abdul. You see, it's not me who said the prophet was bewitched. I'm not the one saying that. It is you, Abdul. And this is his wife, voluntarily, his wife, beloved child wife, Aisha. She is reporting to us what happened to her husband. If we go in the Quran, we will see the story of Harut and Marut. Let me introduce to you Mr. Harut and Marut. Anyone here do not know who is Mr. Harut? In case you do not know who is Mr. Harut, let me introduce for you this hero. Mr. Harut is a very well-known angel. We never heard of this guy Harut. Where this guy he got those names from? He got them from Salman al-Farisi. Those are coming from the legions of North Iraq, North Syria, and from Persia. Chapter 2, verse 102. Muslim translation. Go. They followed what the evil ones gave out falsely against the power of Solomon. They plus some others were not Solomon, but it was the evil one. Who is the one who did the black magic? The evil one. What they did, what they did, teaching man magic. And such a thing came down at the Babylon to the angels, Harut and Marut. Like, look at that. Look, look at this stupidity. Let me do a little test here. Guys, who of you can tell me what's wrong with this three lines we just read? Anyone can tell me? Four line. There is something very, very bad just being taught to us. Something will make anyone leave Islam. It doesn't matter how smart you are or how naive you are. Who want to give me the conclusion of this stupidity? People on Facebook, please don't forget to invite your friends so we can share our knowledge with you what you learn here you learn nowhere humbly humbly me christian prince humbly nobody can teach you what i'm teaching you so please invite your friends and you will see that we are speaking with knowledge not only we speak with courage our knowledge is speak out and the lord the messiah he is our provider with the strength and the trust and the confidence that Muhammad is nothing but a false man. God, he gave us a gift and the problem, people don't want to use it. Read carefully with me. Somebody, his name is Martin from Facebook. He said something very good. I like that. He said angels, evil is coming from the angels because look. Thank you, Martin. Because look what is what he said here in the in the Quran. They followed that the evil ones gave out. The evil ones, okay. Against the power of Solomon, the blasphemers were not Solomon, but the evil ones. Again, he repeat again. 
teaching men magic so what the evil one do they teach man magic but then the second line the idiot the one the author of the Quran he says to us that this magic was sent down at the Babylon to the angel Harut and Marut <laughs> and they are the one who taught everyone the magic read with me but neither of these taught anyone such a thing without saying we are only a trial I mean it's evil what trial you just said it's evil so don't do blasphemy okay what does that mean I mean so what you are teaching people magic to do good with it so have you ever heard of somebody using black magic for good and then the Quran confirm it's not good read carefully they learned from them the 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 means to sow discord between the man and the wife like what the heck so Allah he sent two angels to open a training center to train people to do magic so man and wife they will fight who is the donkey here you just told us that the one who do that is an evil one the one do what teach the one who teach teach the magic that the evil one read carefully with me abdul i know you are slow the evil ones teaching man or men magic so what is the evil of what they are doing is a teaching teaching what magic then your god saying to us that he is the one who sent down at the babylon and the babylon is a different story this is connected to some legions that god he sent from the babylon the magical or the, the magic teachers who they taught magic to muhammad copying the legions of iraq the legion of the sabians so he sent two angels in the babylon tower and those angels even he gave us their names harut and marut another one i forget to mention to you that harut and marut later they have sex with the women her name is venus but this is a different story we don't want to talk about it now otherwise we will make it so complicated for abdul who have a little brain how in the world you muslims believe in such a garbage and yet you are telling me if we recite the quran we fight the devil when the Quran itself is citing to us that the devil is Allah and he is the one who sent magic in the Babylon by two of his agents. One, his name is Harut and the other one, his name is Marut. <laughs> Do we have any Abdul would like to call me? Who is a Muslim, a brave Muslim, have the courage to give me a call. anyone so what do you mean Abdul that you can fight magic and you can fight demon by playing Quran what Quran the Quran itself is is doing magic the Quran itself saying that Allah himself is the one who do teach magic Do we have any Muslim here? So we have Jesus who cast the devil out of a human being. The devil, he jumped into the pigs, into the animals, and the animals, they jump from the cliff. We have Muhammad, who Muslims confirm that he has or he is occupied by the devil and he is bewitched. And Muhammad, from the Muslim books, he tried to commit suicide many times, the same as those pigs, who did filled with the devil with the demon as we saw in Matthew hmm? if there is a reason to have the same story I mean why why Muhammad trying to kill himself if he is not possessed by the demon and I do not need to prove to you that Muhammad possessed by a demon because you Muslims are saying that to us. You Muslims say to us, our prophet, he is, he was bewitched. 
do I need even to work for that direction? Do I need to go and get your reference to show you that Muhammad is possessed? You just say that to us. So the funny Abdul who is saying to us, what about we play a recording of your Quran, of the Quran or the Bible, and let us see who is the winner. Will you tell me first, how come your prophet is the first loser and he himself was controlled by the devil? His Quran was not working, my friend. Are you telling me you Muslims are more religious than your prophet Muhammad? And you are more protected than Muhammad himself from demon? If you're a prophet was controlled and bewitched by the devil, to who are you Muslims to be not? Do we have any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim would like to call? Any Abdul? Muhammad the bewitched prophet I advise actually Christians when you speak to Muhammadan don't tell them Muhammad tell them the truth Muhammad the bewitched prophet this is the truth he is a bewitched prophet I'm not saying things up why you Muslims want to replace a person in your book he resurrect people from death his name is the Messiah someone who never commits sin in chapter 19 verse 19 in the Quran he was called the Holy Son you know the Muslim they ask questions like this I will go a little bit out of the topic but just to show you the logic of Muslims how naive it is they say to us how Jesus is the Son of God how Jesus is the Son of God if we go in the Quran Jesus is, is the son of who any Muslim can give me a help the Quran called Jesus as this Jesus the Christ the son of Mary question why Jesus is called the son of Mary any Muslim want to answer why Jesus is called the son of Mary Hello? To make it simple for you, Mary, she got a bread net. According to Islam, Mary, get a bread net. All right. Who is the one made her bread net? According to Islam, The Muslim they will say to you by the Holy Spirit <coughs> by what Muslims are you listening by the Holy Spirit okay hold on Jesus was according to Muslims he is the son of Mary and he is then the son of the Holy Spirit. I'm, I'm speaking the logic of Muslims because the one who made Mary Bretnet is the Holy Spirit, according to Muslims. The Muslim, they might say to you, no, 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 no. This is Holy Spirit is the angel Jibreel. And it is Allah who made him, who made Mary Bretnet. Then here we have to delay to delay or to to cancel the Holy Spirit. Even though, even though 
for me as a Christian, I know why Muhammad saying the Holy Spirit. There's nowhere in the Quran it says that the Holy Spirit is Jibreel. I challenge any Muslim to show me one statement anywhere it says the Holy Spirit is Jibreel. But I will let that go. So now we have to replace it by the Muslim statement. What is the Muslim statement? That Mary, she was a pregnant by Allah. Okay. Who is Allah? Who is Allah? The Muslim, they say, he is God. It's okay. I'm now, I'm going to replace the word Allah with the word God. That's wonderful. And now let us make it simple. Mary got a pregnant by Allah, and Jesus is the son of who then? According to Islam, he is the son of Mary. Plus God. So how the Abdul they ask me and they ask you how Jesus can be the son of God. When this is what you say to us in your Quran, but you are an idiot, you don't want to say it. Because in different verse in the Quran says that Allah have no children. Who is my father is the one who made my mother pregnant. As simple as that. No, no, my friend. Uh, Martin, he said in the in Facebook, I see his text. He said that Jibreel, he blew. This is the Muslim interpretation. There's nowhere in the Quran it says that Jibreel he blew a spirit into Mary. That is the interpretation of the false Abdul. What the Quran says, and we breathe. Who is talking Allah? And we blow in her vagina. Who? Allah speaking. Who is the one says nafakhna? We. Always you will see the Muslim, they will say to you. That Allah, he used the term we, but Jibreel never used the term we, for he is just one. We. Nafakhna, in Arabic, the word there is nafakhna. So if we type it in Arabic, it's going to be like this. So the Muslims are in denial. And we can prove from their false book that the Messiah is a truly the son of God. And if we ask the Muslims why everybody have a father except the Messiah, they will say to you a very silly answer quoted from the Quran. They will say, hey, hold on. <laughs> he is the same as Adam. Adam have no father. Are you stupid or what? Are you stupid or what? Adam is created from mud. He is not born. So it's stupid even to put Adam in the same category because you decide to be stupid the same as Allah, the one who made the Quran, Muhammad, saying to us that Adam and Jesus are same when they are not the same. Adam is created from mud. Even though the funniest story about creation, creation of Adam is very funny, according to Muhammad, because Adam, he told uh, Allah, please Allah, finish me before the sunset. <laughs> Allah is so slow. I don't. I, I don't blame Adam for being complaining, man. If I was Adam, I would complain. Allah is so slow. Everything in this religion is a stupid. But the Muslims, they play the game, or let us say, uh, they gamble on your ignorance. Hmm. They gamble on your ignorance. So they try to fool you saying that you can fight demon by the Quran. And now he is saying to us, and this is the statement of this Abdul, that the correct book is the one who will win. Well, the Quran will never win. As you see, Muhammad himself is bewitched. Where was your Quran at that time? You Muslim, you say to us, the Quran is in our chest. Are you saying to me that the Quran was not in the chest of your prophet? One thing I want to mention, just to show you, Muhammad is fully occupied by the devil. 
if we ask a Muslim here who is a Muslim in the chat please do we have any Muslim in the chat do we have any Muslim in the chat any Muslim <laughs> You see, we can prove Muhammad to be a false prophet not only by the black magic, he himself admitted that he have it. And then it, later he said that Allah he sent two angels, we 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 to rescue Muhammad from the black age. And Muhammad he imagined himself having sex, but in fact he never did. This prophet is totally doomed. He even imagined himself having sex, but in fact he never did. I mean, what's wrong with this guy? He was heavily bewitched. Not likely. The, the shaitan taking control. Big deal. And the story in front of us is from Sahih al-Bukhari, strong hadith. Muslim cannot say it's weak, vitamin D and A and C and you know. Hmm? There is something Muhammad he said to us, but most of people don't even recognize it, you know. In one of the stories, one of the stories, we speak that Muhammad, he forget the Quran. He what? He forget the Quran. Okay, what does that mean? What does this have to do with demon? I mean, Christian Prince, are you weird? Are you controlled by the demon too? No, my friend, hold on. Let me show you what that means. Let me show you. <laughs> The Prophet heard a man reciting the Quran in the mosque and said, May Allah bestow, bestow, uh, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. okay, hold on, we, we click at the wrong, uh, sorry. Bestow his mercy on him as he reminded me of such and such verses and such. And such surah now is this translation is correct no let me get the Abdul busted you see the Muslims always there's two kind of translator there's somebody he is evil try to cut to, to cover something uh, look at this the same story in the same book translated differently read carefully with me the messenger of Allah heard a man reciting the Quran at night and said May Allah bestow his mercy on him as he reminded me of such and such verses of such and such surahs which I was caused to forget. Do you see how the translation changed? Guys, do you see how the translation changed? Now, any one of you here can link what happened to Muhammad to the shaitan? Anyone can link from this story anything have to do with the shaitan. What do you think? The appearance, there is no link. You know, all of us, we, we forget things. Right? It's normal to forget. What a big deal, I mean, you know, right? But the problem is that Muhammad, he have in the Quran a promise from Allah that he will give him Quran and he will never forget. He will, will give him Quran. So in the Quran, he said, Sani Quru'uka. Hmm? Let us go to Arabic. Sani Quru'uka fala tansa. What does that mean? Chapter 86, verse number 6. We will give you the Quran, recite the Quran, and you shall not forget it. Hold on, that's a problem. How you just told us that Allah He promised Muhammad that He will give you Quran and you will never forget. And here in the hadith, you just told us that Muhammad forgot the Quran. 
and he forgot not only verses such and such verses and such and such surahs by the way look in our text in our chat we have muslims instead of calling me to answer me they are busy fighting with females and the muslims by the way they are hero fighting with females i mean just give a sword to a muslim to fight a female when the israeli army go between hamas on the ground hamas go down the floor in the basement they go in the channels when they leave they appear and they shoot in the sky I will finish my broadcast and now we will see the Muslim making comment like this guy his name is Abraham Abrams he made a comment in YouTube saying I am a hateful person a guy who follow a God says I will spread hate and enmity between the Christians from now until the judgment day he is a loving God I, I am the hateful person this guy and all the Muslims as long I am a life on air nobody dare to call me I go to sleep suddenly all of them they are all over me I'm playing dead now so they say they will call when I used to do my chat in pal talk I say okay guys good night everybody see you tomorrow the second I say that the most time they put their hands up they think this guy is tired and now he's tired he is there up for nine hours man 10 hours 12 hours sometime even 18 hours you believe it they said to themselves there is no way this guy can handle it they put their hand up and they're expecting me saying i am tired so they learned that it doesn't matter how many hours i am up i will i will i will make a shish kebab so the second a muslim he put his hand up i say okay guys we're not leaving we are staying <laughs> so now we go back to the topic is forgetting the Quran is it from the devil who is the Muslim when I give me an answer is it from the devil the answer yes if we go to the Quran I remember here this is showing the contradiction that Allah is a false God he could not even protect his Quran if we go in the Quran, we will find this. <clears throat> oh, oh, Lord have mercy. What you can do? How we can teach the donkey to be a horse? Or in the menace, you oh, hold, hold on. That's this one. Not this one. Hold on. Hold on. I want to show you something else. Hmm. Actually, we can show you that one. I mean, why not? Why not? Why not? Huh? Why not? Let us show you something else first. <laughs> Before we go there, because the Muslim, they might say, this doesn't say that. In chapter 9, verse number 37, it says the following. What is that? I mean, this is translation is really weird. What is that here? Transposing of a brain mouth and additional. I don't know what is that. Is, is that the translation for the verse? Why the why translation is coming so funny? Let's see the other one. What? What does translation have to do with the verse? Just wait, just wait. There is something wrong here. Hold on, hold on. Let us go to the interpretation of the verse in the Quran. Muslim translation make you confused. Let us see Muslim interpretation. Does it make us confused too? So we will go to chapter 9. <clears throat> Hold on. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Any Muslim here understand anything? Any Muslim understand here anything? What well, what does that mean here?
Do we have any Muslim? What is that? Is it about a certain practice the Muslims they used to do? And then they copy it from the Arab and now Muhammad is trying to make them not to do it. Yes or no Muslims Is that correct is that the verse Muhammad he forgot Muslims is that the verse Muhammad he forgot Who is a who is in the text want to tell me is this is the verses or one of them of those who he forgot? You know, uh, Abraham, I advise you not to say to the people here you are deluded. I advise you to say to them you are bewitched, like the same as the Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> Some Muslims they say that the Prophet Muhammad he forgot. A huge numbers of rules not only Quran and this is one of them Muhammad he remembers suddenly something because somebody said something and suddenly something come to his head and something became Quran the same as what happened when Umar al-Khattab he said to the wives of Muhammad if you don't behave Allah will divorce you Muhammad he took it he put it in the Quran was Muhammad forgetting that verse or he remembered it from Umar or Umar is the first one who said that the fact it is Umar is the first one who said that is forgetting Quran from Shaitan any Muslim can answer Did Muhammad forget those verses because of shaitan? Yes or no? I'm waiting for the Muslims. You see, by the way, in the chat, we have many Muslims. <clears throat> but as you see, Muslims, they don't dare even to be involved. Anyone? I'm just giving the Muslims time to call me. Maybe we can find a Muslim. He have a little knowledge and he can help us to understand how Muhammad forget the Quran. Was that because of the voodoo? Was that because of the devil anyway? Was that because Allah, he want him to forget the Quran because Allah and the, and the devil is the same. What happened to Muhammad to the point he was forgetting the Quran? Any Muslim? Let us go and see what the Quran says about forgetting things. If we go in the book of the Abdul, the Quran confirm that all bad memory which mean you forgetting things especially if you are a prophet it coming to you or it happened to you by shaitan 18 verse number 63 but satan made me forget to tell you satan made me forget to tell you who is the one who will cause forgetting about something happened, especially to prophets of God? It is Shaitan. In different verse, in different verse, the Quran confirm that Shaitan again is the one who make you forget things, as we read. If you see, if you see 
people they are debating about our Quran what you do look guys look at the solution the coward Muhammad when those set men engaged in vain discourse about our signs it doesn't say our Quran a sign it says our Quran turns away from them unless they turn a different vein if Satan ever makes thee forget then after re uh, collection set not I don't know this translation is very weird I mean Muslim can't you get some something even we can read so what happened here Muhammad was sitting with a groups of people asking him a question about Islam and making fun of his stupid religion and Muhammad he cannot debate them and the Muslim they came to him he says the prophet they are saying this and this how we can answer them he said okay hold on next time you see people they are like Christian Prince asking questions about the stupid cult of Islam don't, you don't sit with them leave them because we have no answer and the devil might make you forget forget what I mean what 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 does have to do forget with, with the word forget anybody can tell me what is the connection between this and this what the sentence of and if the devil calls you to forget forget what so it's so clear that Islam you know always and the Quran claim that forgetting something especially about God is from the devil so Muhammad forgot the Quran do I need more proofs that Muhammad was badly under the control of the devil you see Muslims I'm using your logic I, you know for me I believe that people forget normally I mean I, I think it's a mercy from God that we forget it's a mercy from God imagine you remember everything you know what I mean you have a family member who pass away you have a person who you love who pass away or somebody died by cancer etc God he gave you his mercy so you forget even forgetting numbers even because imagine if you have everything in your head and you cannot get rid of it by the age of 50 60 you will go crazy And look at this guy. Let me show you something this Abdul he said. Just to show you that when I say every Muslim is a, is a stupid until he proved the opposite, I mean it. I'm not insulting. I I am not insulting. I'm not insulting. Read with me carefully. Look what this guy he said. And this guy, we spanked him many times about insulting Paul. The Muslim, he cannot debate us, he cannot answer us, he cannot do anything. Right away, he tried to change the topic to talk about Paul. But Paul is a messenger of Allah in Islam. Do you see why I say they are stupid? Why they keep insulting Paul when their stupid prophet never insulted Paul? How come this Abdul, he knew that Paul is what we are following? But his prophet never said one bad word about Paul. So where the Muslims they come with this attack in Paul? This is because a guy his name is Ahmed D. That he said that to them. Before that, nobody spoke against Paul. Not only that, if we read the Islamic books, we will find that Paul is a messenger of Allah. But as I said. How you can make a donkey horse? He cannot. A donkey will stay a donkey. All what we need, we go and we open the Muslim scholars, the highest scholars of Islam, and we will find that Paul is a messenger of Allah. Shall we do that? <laughs> if we go right now in the Quran, stupid religion. Stupid religion. You know what stupid mean? Seriously, stupid 
religion. Hold on. <laughs> you know, this is a religion. This is a religion about it's 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 uh, it's filled by copy paste. They are like you know I don't I don't want to use the word bacteria, but this is how it is. Like everybody is a copy of some somebody else. Paul, Paul, you are following Paul. You are following Paul. But Allah He said we should follow Paul. Allah said that in the Quran. You idiot. <laughs> Not only that, the Quran says that Paul is one of the almighty messengers of, of Jesus, which means he is confirming that Paul is a messenger of Jesus, which means Jesus is God. Read carefully with me. Oh boy. Chapter 23, the chapter of the believers. I mean, even the chapter name is kind of fancy. Okay, what the chapter of the believers saying? Let us see. Hmm. Uh, let us go. Actually, hold on, hold on. Let us go. I don't want to mix with Musa's now. No. Not this one. Yeah. Read with me carefully, please. When we first sent to them two messengers, they rejected them. But we string them with the third. Nice to meet you, Paul. Who is the third? If we ask the Muslims, who is the third one, which is the Quran now is speaking of? Do you know the Muslims will say what? They will say, we have no idea. We have to go and see what the scholars they said. Okay, what the scholars they said? Shall we go and see what the scholars they said? The scholars they say this is Paul. Let us go there and see. Here we go. We go to Ibn Kathir. And this is your Muslim website, not mine. All right. <clears throat> oh, I love, I love the intelligence of the Muslims. Read with me carefully. From Ibn Abbas, blah, 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 blah. Okay, those messengers, they were sent to a city. It's called Antioch. Antioch is very well known. In the Bible and even the Christian they were called the Christian for the first time in the city of Antioch read carefully with me please and here the Muslims even they are telling us a story about a king who called Antiochus the son of Antiochus the son of Antiochus I mean this guy his name is only Antiochus look like this king all his family are called Antiochus let me introduce for you myself. My name is a Christian. My father, his name is a Christian. My grandfather, his name is a Christian. The grandfather of my grandfather, his name is a Christian. And the grand grandfather of my grandfather, his name is a Christian because a Christian uh, uh, is my is uh, is uh, my name, the name of my family. All of us who are a Christian. So if you go to my home and you say, "Can I talk to Christian?" You will find like ten thousand men right away. They say, "Me, me." Let it go. I mean, let it go. Let it go, man. Don't go in details. What's wrong with you? All right. Here they start guessing for us. They give us names, which is not really names, like those uh, here, a sadiq, which means the truthful. Those are titles. But here is the names. Read carefully with me. So we enforce them with the third means. We supported them and string them with the third messenger. Ibn Juraj narrated from Wahab ibn Sulaiman from Shu'aib al blah 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 blah. The name of the first two they were Shamoon, which means Simon, and Yohanna, which means John. And the name of the third is Paulos, which means Paul. And the name of the city was in Turkey. <laughs> but yet, this is stupid edit in the text, he keeps insulting Paul. And in his religion, 
Paul is a messenger of God. And you Muslims are not people who they are monotheist. You are a liar. And I can prove it to you. Hold on. Let me do this. Is the Muslims as they claim they are monotheist? Let us get to a conclusion. I'm ready for you Muslims. I am here your nightmare. The Lord will worship the Lord and he will call himself O Lord. Father or Christian, I hope you will use your mind. The same guy who made the first question, his name is Saleh Khanur. Read with me. So the Muslim saying, Are you stupid Christian? So the Lord will worship the Lord? Huh? Hold on. Let us open the first verse in the Quran, chapter of Al Fatiha. You will see that the Lord is worshiping the Lord. I mean, I am serious. Muslims are people who they are in the stage of hashish, hash hash. Chapter one, verse number one, verse number two, verse number three, verse number four, verse number. Should I continue? There are seven verses anyway. Read with me carefully. In the name of Allah, the most, the gracious, most merciful. Who's talking, Allah? Allah saying, in the name of Allah, Abdul. Are you serious? This is your text. The Lord will worship the Lord and he will call himself, O Lord. Father, O Christian, I hope you will use your mind. Okay, read the Quran. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, most merciful. Allah saying in the name of Allah, the most gracious, most merciful. And then he says, praise be to Allah. Can you Muslims even hold, handle your logic? Aren't you the one saying to us, use your mind, how how the Lord worship the Lord, brother? Hey brother, how the Lord worship the Lord? What's wrong with you Christians? You idiot, we Christian, we believe in the Trinity. The Son speaking to the Father. Now you Muslims, you don't have a Trinity. Allah is saying, praise be to Allah. Do you have a Son Allah and a Father Allah? How Allah, he said, praise be to Allah. And then not only that, he said, the most gracious, most merciful, master of judgment day, thee do what we worship and thin aid we seek. The Muslim, to get away from this, they will say to you, oh, hold on, hold on, this is a prayer we say to Allah. This is Allah speaking, Abdul. And Allah here is not saying, oh, Muhammad, say, like, you know, they asked Jesus how we pray. He said, pray like this, our Father out of heaven. But this is another scenario. Allah is delivering Quran to Muhammad never said here say this to pray it is Allah talking to Muhammad thee do we worship and thin aid we seek and show us the straight way <laughs> Allah show us the straight way and by the way where is the straight way the straight way to do suicide bombing or what exactly I'm not sure what the straight way for you Muslims mean What is a straight way for a Muslim? Do we have any Muslim would like to call me? May they, may they. Islam need defense. Islam is very weak. Who want to do that? I will go now and hang up and then you will see the Muslim they post in the text this guy he do not know what he's talking about Christian Prince is a liar but nobody want to prove him to be liar Christian Prince he have no idea what he's talking about but we are showing you what you Muslim says not me everything is in the screen I'm just reading I did not say anything the only thing I said is Brother Thitter, the Thitter did not ask a question. How come the Quran says that Allah will provide us hur for them, and the Quran provide men hur, but the women they will not get hur? First of all, let me confirm to you that the word hur in Arabic is a plural word, and it can be used for male and female. Therefore, Thitter, don't worry, be happy. You are going to have a lot of men. They will do bang bang to you. 
I mean, this is a pro. This is this is a scholar. The scholar is assuring the Muslim female that she will have a lot of bang bang in the heaven. So don't worry, be happy. And the Muslim Abdul, nobody be insulted. And the word hur is a word mean male and female. So the Quran is lying because the Quran says there's no man and no genie made them have uh, bleed from losing their virginity. Unbelievable. <laughs> If Zakir Naik is your scholar, so who is the donkey between you? If this is the scholar, if this is the one he stand in a stage and there is a 20, 30,000 listening to him live. So you can imagine who is the followers. Do we have any Abdul? Even this guy Abraham, he died in the text. He did not even text no more. He is hiding now. They played dead. The second you mention their name, they play dead. If I stop talking about him, he will text again. It's like you know, turn the light on, they disappear. Turn the light off, they come. On. Disappear. Off. Come out. Do we have any Abdul? So the conclusion of this session today, I am the shrink for the Muslims. You know, I'm the one who give them medicine. It's not your prophet who said to you seven ajwa. Obviously, the seven ajwa is not working, Muslim. Your prophet, he forgot Quran, your Quran, your prophet, he received satanic verses. We did not mention even that yet. He himself he received, and the Quran confirmed he received satanic verses. You're a prophet, Dr. Muhammad, and his, his magic about Ajwa did not work. He died by poison and he was infected by magic. Nobody can save you, my friend, except the power of his name with his glory. That is the Messiah, our Lord. He cast the devil by one word. He did not say to the Christians, eat Ajwa to fight the devil, for that is a stupid, foolish statement. He did not promise us vagina in heaven, for that is a filthy, pimp promise, not God. God is holy, so is his promises. God is holy, so is his heaven. God is holy, so is his present. The true God don't promise boys and women in heaven for sex. That is a pimp from Las Vegas. The true God will not promise me a bracelet made of gold. That a guy who work in the mall. The true God will not promise me a piece of furniture. That is a guy who work in a furniture store. God will not promise me a piece of fabric made in Iran. That is a guy who work in fabric business. That is not God. That is the devil trying to speak to your belly. A God who is a promising me fruits. Fruits. Are you serious? I will have a fruit. Okay, let me jump in my car and go to Walmart. What do you want? I'm serious. What do you want? What a fruit you want me to bring for you? Huh? What do you like? Cherry? Allah did not promise you cherry. The only fruit he have in the Quran is mentioned is the grape and banana. I understand that the banana is needed because there is no way you can have sex with all those women and you know you you know you will need a lot of banana banana and grape reclining on a green caution and rich carpet I mean this is I'm so happy now guys I will have a green carpet and I will have a I will have a pillow I will have a cushion 
I mean, what do you want more? What a human being he need in heaven more than a green carpet and a cushion. Hello? Hey, CP. How are you, my friend? How are you doing? Do you have a cushion with you? Actually, I do. Okay. I do. Um, has more to do with the um, the history of Islam. Um, now, the first, uh, the oldest piece of, <laughs> forgive me, I get the Sunnah and Sira mixed up. Mm. Um, the Ibn Ishaq, the autobiography. I get these names mixed up. I know there's an Ibn Ishaq, there's an Ibn Isham. Yeah. And my understand one of those guys learned from the other guy. But my understanding is that that autobiography is the earliest piece of, of whichever one it is on Muhammad. But the Muslims don't like to use it. And I'm trying to figure out why is it that they don't use their oldest, their oldest source material. No, no, actually they use it. They use it. You see, that the, the what they don't use, they don't quote the book directly, but they are quoting the book without knowing, because simply, uh, all those who wrote after them, they are quoting them anyway. But what they quote, they don't say the name of the one who made the book. They quote the origin name, which is mentioned in the book. As an example, if I say Ibn Juraj, he said something. Where are those guys they get the reference from? They got it from his book. Okay. But they don't say Ibn Ish Ibn Ishaq said. They say Ibn Juraj said. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So everything because you see, remember, there's a there's a disconnect between Islam and the time of those books of Hadith is written. So what is between what is in the middle? What is the only books that exist? Is those books so how where where the reference coming from people who they are alive there is nobody alive anymore from those who reported those stories okay you got my point if the, uh, if, those, if those are the yeah. only books written collected then where the source is coming from how Sahir Bukhari is going to report to us what happened in the time of Muhammad he was there no yeah, but but my understanding is that uh, Bukhara's methodology was different. We actually were talking to people allegedly. Talking but but, people uh, well, how, but okay, but say. how how those people they know uh, Sahir? Uh, how how those people they know uh, 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 what they know? Well, now, now as the Muslims tell it. So yeah, but what? But the Muslims in the time of Bukhari, they have nothing to do with the Muslims in the time of Muhammad. Well, yeah, I know, but. <laughs> I know now I'm not a Muslim don't no 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 I'm just I'm just what, I'm just discussing with you no I'm trying to find out I know what the Muslims they say you know after all those years I know exactly what Muslims they say to me without you telling it to, to, to me but the question is Al Bukhari Al Bukhari he got his information from where from people who live in the time of Muhammad no no from the people who lived in his time People who live in his time, but people who live in his time, they get it from where? Apparently, I guess their parents and grandparents and forefathers and such. Okay. Now, those uh, parents and grandparents and grandparents, do they have books? No. They have just yes. reported stories. And this is the same what happened with Ibn Ishaq. You know? Okay. It's people who report through, 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 through. So both of them, they are getting the same from the same source at the end. Either one of them have to quote somebody. You know, mm -hmm. and that somebody never exists in the time of Muhammad. Right, right. They it, each have to quote, have to quote if somebody. I, yeah, if I write, if I write about someone two hundred years after him, I mean, how I can get rid of the true uh, statement of this guy? This is I'm talking about generation after generation after generation. People they say things, and, and you know, and we are assuming that everybody say the truth. Like, don't you assume that people they fabricate even lies? Somebody he tried to fool people to say the prophet said so that he can control of somebody or do something, you know Or he can justify what he himself is doing, right? You know, right So and the Muslim themselves they admit that they say there's a lot of fabricated stories about the prophet, correct? Yes, okay, so now as long they admitting that there is a lot of fabrication Which means between the Muslims there are a bunch of liars who make lies about Islam So how we can trust any of those source anyway? Including right. the Quran, even even the Quran itself is delivered to us by a guy. His name is Hafs, and we showed you many times how Hafs is accused by the Muslims that he's a fraud. Right. 
But what? for some reason, the Hadith, they elevate uh, to scripture, but they don't do that with uh, even the shock. <clears throat> and that's my question. You know, what, what is it that Ibn Ishaq did or did not do that the Muslims you find unacceptable? No, no, the Muslim they find him acceptable. Sorry. This is this is uh, my, my my friend. This is a lie. When they say to you we don't accept him, this is today, in the time of Ibn Ishaq and after, it, you know, all the Muslims. I can go right now and, and find you some website. They will tell you how amazing he is. What what they're talking about? Oh. They are liars, you know. Okay. They all the scars of Islam praise him for how amazing he is. Let me <coughs> hold on. Oh. Hold on, let me let me search a second. Would take me a second. Hold on. Hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, 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 I found a very uh, in Arabic, but I will translate. No problem. In Arabic, it says, and those who speak Arabic, they can read with me. Let us make the screen bigger. Manzilatahu uh, la his uh, his scholarship, uh, let us say, uh, uh, appreciation, or let us say, uh, how high he is. It says here, Hadiya ibn Ishaq bi manzilatin rafi'a bayna ulama'i asri. He was one of the highest between all the scars in his time, and that because his amazing or his wide knowledge and how much he knows. To the point that the Imam al Zahabi, the golden Imam, he said about him, uh, He is the one, the first one who wrote knowledge in the in the in the city of Medina. And and uh, so they, they are reporting here to you, like just to make it simple, how much they praise him, all the all the scholars. They praise him. He is not just a normal scholar, he is uh, uh one of the highest so okay. when the Muslim they say to, to you we don't appreciate him he is not considered this is a big fat lie and this is an official Islamic website you see Al Islam wa Jawab and the one is talking here is the Sheikh Muhammad Salih Al Munjid one of the highest scholars of Islam today supposedly today in Saudi Arabia so even today Scholars don't dare to say Ibn Ishaq is a joke. Those things you will hear it from the potatoes. Okay. From the normal Abdul, you know, to escape. The same as Sahih al Bukhari is weak. You know, it's just to escape. Like, you know, it's a normal conversation. It's a chat debate, stupid thing in Facebook. Oh, right away, you say something to me, I say to you, it's weak. Okay. So but, it's, it's the same old trying to run away. He said something. Ibn Ishaq wrote something that they don't want to right, defend. Right, but so the scholars don't agree. Away. The scholars, they appreciate this man big deal. They consider him one of the best. Actually, he is considered as one of the 12 scholars ever exist in Islam. So the, the, the denial happening from the, from the low class, uh, let us say, of knowledge, Muslims, those who don't have anything, those who try, like, you know, a girl she posts on Facebook saying, uh, somebody post a hadith, a stupid hadith saying uh, uh, Islam forbid uh, music. This is stupid. It's not true. It's weak. But okay. who said it's weak? How how it became weak? Who made it weak? Since when? <laughs> okay. So anything. Don't take don't take the 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 rejection from the from the normal Abdul. Those are just uh, trying to resist. Let us say that the the problem we believe in Muhammad as a prophet, and now you are showing me how stupid this prophet is. So what we will do? There's one of two ways: either we accept that Muhammad is a stupid, or we try to deny it and say, "Well, you know what? This is a fake hadith." So we have to choose one. Which one is more dangerous to say? If we accept Muhammad to be a stupid idiot, then Islam is gone. So we have no way except. To say we deny it, and you know, uh, 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 even Quran is against mu music. If we go to the chapter of Luqman as an example, where, you know, we will see that the Quran says that those who do have any kind of fun, any any fun, not only music, <laughs> is haram. Islam wants you to have only certain things to do. 
you have sex it's lawful you eat it's lawful you use your brain is haram you play music is haram you play chess is haram dancing is haram until now in Saudi Arabia until now like just last week they opened the first uh, th uh, movie theater yeah so why why the Muslims in Saudi Arabia are they fake Muslims are the scholars there are stupid they don't know what Quran taught all those who learn about Islam all the terrorists they learn from the Saudi why because the Saudi they are following the true Islam the rest go like go and see the Sufi the Sufi dancing shaking you know but this is not what Islam says let us see Uh, this verse in the Quran says, chapter 31, verse number 6. Women, women in the nest, what does that mean? Anyone of, of the people who do, uh, uh, you know, uh, do pastime for fun, those who do that, they are not Muslims, they will go to hell. <laughs> pastime, pastime, what pastime mean? Pastime, you are, you know, you want to have fun. The word lahu, actually, the word lahu. Have many me one of it is have to have fun with the uh, it can be women it can be music it can be anything depend in the, the location of the statement if we go and read the interpretation we can go to Ibn Kathir right now we are in Ibn Kathir what about we go to Ibn Kathir and see what it is chapter 31 verse number six and you will see that this is what the scholars agree let's go Ibn Kathir where's Ibn Kathir here uh, look like okay if we go to Ibn Kathir, I knew yourself you are listening to us for long, so you know how many times Muslims they ask me to read from Ibn Kathir, but when we show them Ibn Kathir saying something stupid, suddenly Ibn Kathir is not valid no more. This is exactly what they do with Ibn Ishaq and uh, uh, etc. Read with me here. And of the mankind is who? Uh, purchase lahu lahu al hadith lahu al hadith which means uh, the, the talk of uh, stupid things or whatever to mislead men from uh, the path of allah without knowledge qutada says by allah he, he not uh, he, uh, he may not spend money on it but his is uh, uh, purchasing it mean he like it and then more misguidedness okay let's continue what does that mean exactly until now he did not answer Precious uh, uh, idle talk is buying, singing, servant girls. Buying, servant, singing girls. You can buy girls in Islam, but for sex, but you cannot buy them for singing. <laughs> all right. Ibn Jabir said that it's meant all speeches that hinders people from seeing the, uh, seeing the signs of Allah and following his path. All right. Uh, so so all all the reference is speaking about singing and the music and this is islam you should not hear music you should not be listening to music and the one who do that allah saying so tell them about painful uh, 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 torment is coming to them just for singing yeah and the, and, and muhammad he confirmed that in the hadith too you know there's many there's tons of reference uh, 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 actually, even the Quran claim that anyone he have a beautiful voice, except the one who recite the Quran with it, is shaitan. If you have a beautiful voice, uh, we can go to the Quran. You know, we are not making things up. Let us see. The problem, this uh, website sometime. Okay, hold on. All right. Here, here, chapter 17, verse number 64. It's speaking about the voice of Shaitan. And one of its meaning of this, read with me carefully. Do you see it says seductive voice? I'm behind a bit. 
Oh, hold on. Let's see here. Okay, maybe so there's a delay. Verse 54. A bit. You said 54. Yeah. Yes. Yes, see it. Chapter English 17, English. verse number 64. What the seductive voice is. If you are a person who listen to music and you listen to funny stuff and nice stuff, Allah will punish you, Allah will bring armies to defeat you, Allah will kill you, Allah will destroy you, Allah will etc. because you are listening to music. <laughs> right? Why is Allah so afraid of, yeah. of people sing and making music? Uh, if we go, if we go, if we go uh, to this chapter, chapter 17, verse number 64, let us do that to see what does that mean exactly because a Muslim, he might say, it doesn't mean that. You know, you are getting us a fast translation or fast uh, meaning. Chapter 17, verse number 64. Let us see. Read with me. I don't know if you can see the screen with me. I, I will let you read it for us. Your English is better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> is it clear? Let's see. This is uh, uh, Jalalain. Mm hmm. Okay, uh, let's see here. <laughs> and tempt, dupe, whomever of them you can with your voice and by your calling them with songs and pipes and with every invitation to acts of disobedience and rally in sight against them your cavalry and your infantry, namely those who ride and walk in acts of disobedience and share with them in wealth that is illicit, such as usury and extortion, and children from acts of adultery and make promises to them to the effect that there will not be any resurrection or requital and satan promises them thereby nothing but delusion falsehood so the the uh, uh the, the 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 pipe the music of the pipe uh, anything that's called the music yeah. is uh, is uh is from shaitan you know yeah yeah, this is what uh, this is what the Quran is saying. This is this is the Quran. This is the Quran. In 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 the Hadith, just to confirm to the Muslim that this is what it's meant. If we go in the Hadith, you see the Muslim they say the Quran. If if a Hadith contradict the Quran, this means we reject it, and because they do not know their Quran, they think it's contradict the Quran. But the fact the Quran confirmed that, and the Hadith confirmed that. If we go, <laughs> let us see. Hold on. <clears throat> Let us see. People among my nation will drink wine, call it by another name. So now the Muslims, Muhammad is making prophecy. People they would drink wine, but they call it a different name. Okay, what does that mean? I mean, wine is wine. What do you call that name? Call it by other name. Any musical instrument will be played for them and singing girls will sing for them but hold on is it muhammad used to have singing girls yeah and they are playing music for him <laughs> <laughs> how come muhammad he can sing in girls but if you are the quran says you cannot buy singing girls and the quran confirmed that you cannot play music but muhammad in his house he have a band of girls slaves slave girls yeah, they are dancing and singing for him. Yeah, um, and Muslims do that now. Yes, they do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, dancing and singing, girls. Now you can look that up on the internet. In in this oh. ummah, there shall be a collapsing, collapsing of the earth, transformation. Okay, a man among the Muslims said, Oh, Messenger of Allah, when that is going to happen, which means the prophecy, he said, When singing slaves, girls, and music and drinking intoxication. So, Muhammad, you guys, imagine that this, this madman Muhammad is claiming that judgment day will come when the Muslims start making slave girls instead of having them for sex, singing for them. All right, <laughs> but today we don't have singing slave girls, so this is what happened a long time ago. Today, if you are a singer, you are rich, actually. If you have a nice voice, how much income a Christian prince he make and how much somebody he do Arabic music he make? This is Islam. Yeah. You know? 
uh, I still can't see the point of that though. Is is he just trying to get rid of all music so that the Quran sounds better? He want them not. Um, yeah, you know. Okay. Uh, uh, you see, Muhammad, he claimed that all the music is coming from the devil. The only thing you can do is the Quran. All right. So let me see. There's a hadith uh, where he say. I'm trying to remember the exact word. Yeah, Mazamir al Shaitan. Yeah, you know, normally when I look at some of these uh, crazy Muslim rules and things like that, I can see how they somehow benefit Muhammad one way or the other. Um, or he permits, you know, he, he permits them to do something that benefits, you know, that, that improves his vision as a leader in their eyes. But I can't really see what this gains him. Hmm. Yeah, well, the, the answer is very simple. Muhammad, he want them to be totally under his control. Somebody saying my voice is not strong enough. I don't know if this is the case for everybody. Let me see if I can fix that. Well, it's got to be his. So the rest, his. they have a pro no problem. The rest, you guys have no problem with my voice. Um, I don't know why. Okay. Yeah, everybody says your voice is good. All right, uh, read with me here. How in the world, even the bell, the bell is the musical instrument of the devil. I mean, it's a bell. <laughs> and the bell is exists for a reason. It's not a, even a music. The bell, the bell is not even a music. A bell is uh, to give alarm. Uh, like in the old days, they used to hold the bell. And then now, in the in the neck of a sheep if you are a shepherd what do you do your yeah. sheep run away what do you do you put a small bill in her neck so if she if she is running somewhere between the bushes you know where she where she is so you can go and get her so the bill is a musical instrument of the devil why and the funny Muhammad he said that he used to receive the Quran as a sound of the bill <laughs> what's wrong with this guy He used to receive Quran through the sound of the bell. I don't know why our our connection is getting slow here, I think. Let us see. Somehow we lost connection. You see, I'm using, uh, I'm doing two broadcasts at the same time. Oh, are you? Yeah, I'm doing broadcasts in Skype. Sorry, in uh, in uh, YouTube and uh, in Facebook. Oh, hmm. okay. it's not working. But uh, I hope this. Yeah, it's a black screen. Hold on, guys. Let me fix that. Let me fix that. Don't worry. Don't worry, be happy. All right, let us see now. Now it should come. All right, now it's working, good. Anyway, it's good. Like at least we are having, uh, you know, I mean, all this broadcast, two broadcasts in the same time. Uh, that's mean the internet is doing good. I upgraded my internet to the maximum speed I can get, so we can do what we need to do. Oh, did you? Yeah. Anyway, uh, you know, this guy is obviously he is fake. He himself, he have a slave girls dancing for him. He himself, he receive Quran as. Uh, 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 as as a, as a bell, but yet the bell is the instrument of a musical instrument of the shaitan. Uh, let us see if we can find that. Here we go. 
the prophet said the bell is one of the musical instrument of shaitan and we continue here look at this i heard the message of allah saying that the angels do not enter a house which there is a small bell in it i mean what's wrong with this guy even angels will not enter the house if there is a small bell in it why <laughs> so i can fight allah now by by, by uh, i will hold bell in my hand and angels cannot get close to me let us say i'm a kafir i want to fight the army of allah should I hold in my hand a bell? But let's continue. Angels do not accompany the traveler who, who have with, with them a dog or a bell. Like, why? <laughs> a dog? So a, a, a traveler, he needs a bell and he needs a dog. So now you tell him you cannot have a dog and you cannot have a bell. You know, in, in the old days, even now, guys, if you are going to do camping in the wood, don't you feel better if you have a dog with you? He can alarm you at even a small tiny dog is good to have him with you in the in the wood because yes. he will sense any risk any danger you will not feel it until the until your enemy is just in your neck so why a traveler he cannot have a dog or a bell it's a sin what is a sin the sin is that this is the musical instrument of shaitan and then we will find that muhammad himself he got his uh, inspiration, read with me the same idiot who says the same idiot who said that the bell is the instrument in music of shaitan is the same idiot who said that he himself he received Quran as a sound of a bell and the hate in front of you Muslims this is Sahih al-Bukhari and this is a strong hadith this is not a weak hadith how Muhammad received the inspiration the Quran any Muslim can tell us how Muhammad received the inspiration? The answer is very simple. He did receive his inspiration in the sound of a bell. Okay, how the bell became Arabic? <laughs> what is you know? Huh? <laughs> we are receiving Quran now. This is the second verse. This is the third verse. This is a deep verse. This is a different one. So the bell is the sound of the of the, the music and instrument of shaitan but yet muhammad himself is receiving the shaitan this mean the shaitan is the one who's giving muhammad quran yeah and the hadith was was that aisha narrated yeah the one is always aisha as the witness you know <laughs> yeah she witnessed a lot didn't she <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> And okay, look and look, look what Muhammad, Muhammad, he had many type of divine inspiration. And look what he says. I remember what the angels have said. And this type of divine inspiration is the hardest on me. Like what? Muhammad, he is suffering from this inspiration when it's come to him in the sound of a bell. Why Allah sent it in the sound of a bell? Why? What about you send it in the sound of a guitar? Hmm? <laughs> What's wrong with guitar? Is guitar is bad? Why, Bill? Uh, CP, let me ask you this. Um, when it says bell here, is that just a trad traditional bell? Yeah, yeah, the normal, the old, yeah, the old ones. You know, the bell is is a is a is a tool exists for centuries. You know, yes, uh, bell. yeah, yeah, it's just normal, but yeah, it's, it's just a normal thing, and usually it is something people they you know uh, they use everywhere. For animals mostly, you know, they hold they it. In the, in the yeah, town, they in the yeah, yeah, yeah. But in, but in the time of Muhammad, the Christian was using it too for their churches. This is why when they when they choose the adhan, someone he suggests to Muhammad to do the bell thing. He told him, "No, this is what the Christians do." Okay. And, and then Muhammad he suggest, uh, one suggests to him, "Let us do Allahu Akbar adhan," and Muhammad he agree with that. You know okay yeah so that's why they have that guy yelling when it's time to pray right in the, in the, in the, the beginning didn't want to be like the Christians, yeah the Christians yeah and in the beginning 
uh, uh, Muhammad, he was looking for a way, because every religion have uh, a certain way to do things, to call for prayer. So now how we will call for the prayer? So they were thinking about a method. So some, they suggested to Muhammad, let us uh, let us uh, do it the same as this, the same as that, the same, etc. Muhammad, he was disapproving. And when they mentioned to him the bill, he said, no, this is what the Christians do. We will not do the same. Actually, I'm trying to find you the hadith. Uh, let me see if I can find the hadith. We can find it somewhere. Yeah, I know the hadith very well, but I'm trying to find the exact word. Let us see, maybe we can. Maybe we can find the story hmm. where they said to him about the call for the prayer. And for some reason, it's not coming here. Let us see. Yeah, I will find it. But but anyway, uh, let us see here. If we change the word. The search engine, sometimes you have to play with it. Mm -hmm. Read with me. Actually, we found it. The people mentioned the fire and the bill as means uh, proposed for announcing the time of the prayer. Do you see it in the screen? Yes. So what they suggest to Muhammad, let us light a fire and people will know that it's time for prayer. Other one says, no, let us do bill. Then what Muhammad said, by such a suggestion, they refer to the Jews and the Christians. But Bilal was ordered to pronounce the order of Adhan, i.e. call for the prayer. So the Muslim, they were not sure what to do. It's not an order from Allah to do Adhan. You know? Okay. Yeah. So yeah. here, the story here appeared more clear. The people mentioned the fire and the bell. They suggested those as sig a single signal to indicate the starting of the prayer. And by that, they mentioned the Jews and the Christians. Then Bilal was ordered to be uh, to be uh, uh, to pronounce adhan for the prayer. There is more details to come about this, you know. Okay. Uh, let us see here. The uh, I, actually the adhan, as I know, is coming from Umar bin Khattab, and uh, I think this is the one we'll speak about. That. Let's see. What's the difference that adhan and the other one? Um... Adhan is uh, is like we say Allah uh, Akbar Allah Akbar Hayya uh, Salat, which means there is not only you don't say only Allah Akbar, you add after it saying come to pray. You know, read with me carefully. When the Muslims arrived to Al Medina, they used, they used, and this is additional proof that Islam is a false religion. Why Muhammad is confused about how to assemble the prayer? Why Allah? If this is coming from God, everything Muhammad is saying is coming from God. Uh, so they used to assemble the, uh, for the prayer and used to guess the time for it. During those days, the practice of Adan wa for a prayer had not been introduced yet. Okay. Once they discussed this problem regarding the call uh, for the prayer, some people suggest uh, the use of the bell, like the Christians. Others proposed the torment, the, tr sorry, the, tr the trumpet, the same as the Jews. Okay, like the horn they used by the Jews, but Omar was the first to suggest that a man should call the people for a prayer. Therefore, Allah ordered Bilal to do so. <laughs> it was Omar that inspired the Prophet Omar, peace upon him.
Yeah, Omar inspired a lot, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's okay. a stupid religion. It doesn't matter. Like in every corner you go to examine this religion, you will find it's it is a stupid cult. It doesn't it doesn't stand an examination. Why Allah is why Muhammad is doing what what to Omar suggests to him? As long as you see the Muslims here are struggling, why Allah don't send him a verse? Yeah, well, I would ask a different question. Um, if they're just doing it, if the Muslims are doing it just because Omar suggested it, why is it why is it so sacred? You know. Yeah, it shouldn't be and why they say all. right because they make it a big deal like Allah Akbar is a big deal is very powerful But is it something coming from Omar? Right, I don't care if they've been doing it for a thousand or two thousand years. Yeah, know? everything's coming from Omar Yeah, Omar, from Omar is the one who made the Kaaba a sacred place <laughs> Omar is the yeah. one who made the Hajj is a, uh, uh, oh, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Omar made the, the Kaaba a sacred place Well, isn't it Omar who said Make the Kaaba as a as a direct for the, the Muslim prayer. It is him. The Muslim, they, yeah, the Muslim. I'm not, they, I'm not disagreeing with you. I just don't remember that. Yeah, no, the, the Muslims, uh, they were not praying direction of the Kaaba. They were praying direction of Jerusalem. Because all those years, Muhammad trying to convince the Jews that he is a Jew. He's like them. Okay. He's following the same God. <laughs> you know. So when when the Jews he, he killed them, and there's no Jews will believe him anyway. You know. That's why Muhammad he says, if ten of the Jews uh, 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 believe in him, uh, all the Jews will follow. Ten, just ten. He could not convince ten. Just ten. So uh, uh, when Muhammad he give up on that, uh, Omar he suggests that why we don't make the Kaaba as a uh, as a as a place of a prayer, direction of prayer. So the Kaaba was ignored totally. You know, it was not a place of worship no more. It was the Muslim don't care for it. Suddenly, Omar, this is why Omar he says, Wafaqani Rabbi. Let's see. And get the hadith in English. Yeah. Here, Omar, some they say that uh, Omar, Allah, I agree with him in many things, more than 10 things. But in this hadith, it says the three. Omar said, and by the way, the Muslim translation is false. Look, look how the Muslim they, they fabricate translation. Omar said, I agreed with Allah in three things, but the fact it doesn't say that. It says in Arabic, Wafaqani Rabbi fi thalath. I, uh, uh, Allah, He agreed with me in three. Actually, it says that in the beginning and says that in the end, at the end, in a second. My Lord agreed with me in three things. Read it. I said, Oh Allah, Apostle, would you took the station of Abraham as a place for prayer? <laughs> And then this is what this is what Allah agree with him, not Muhammad agree with him. Omar he he admit or he's saying that this was his idea, and Allah agree with him. Why Allah agree with him? Well, Muhammad called it Quran. So but yeah. but hold on, is it the Kaaba is a sacred place for Allah? Allah sent the black stone to Adam, and this is Allah what he want from the beginning of the time. So why now Muhammad need a refresh uh, memory from uh, uh, Omar and Allah agree with it? And how Allah agree with Omar? Who's Omar? Hey, apparently, Omar is a pretty big deal. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure, Omar big deal. He can make suggestions to Allah. I also said, "Oh Allah, Apostle, good and bad enter your house." What does that mean? He told him to cover, to tell his wife to cover themselves, to 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 veil themselves. So the divine versus hijab came down. Okay, so Omar is the one who made the hijab. Not only that, Allah supposedly is the one who make those verses, but the funny Omar, he says, that Allah, he sent the verses as I said. As I said. He didn't say, uh, you know, uh, uh, like Allah, he just agreed with me. He says that Allah, he sent down those verses as I said. Exactly. Why is that? Why Allah? As I said, Allah, Allah, Allah is very truthful. God, He don't want to change the world. As Omar, He said, we take it as it is. Omar is a holy God, and Omar, He know, and and, the, and they say to us, the Quran is amazing. Can you make Quran like this? Yeah. If if Allah Himself is copying from 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 Omar, 
Yeah. Hang on, CP. Uh, I want to write that um, write the reference down. I'm gonna need the the volume and book number there. Hang on, just a sec. Hey, let let me let me post it in the in the chat. Don't worry about it. I will post the link in the chat. You can just go back. I mean, do you see how amazing the hijab itself is coming from Omar? And yet they challenge us to make Quran like the Quran. Yeah, but the thing that, well, one of the things that I don't get, there's a lot about Islam. Why don't they ever take issue with the way these verses are, quote, coming down, end quote. You know, you tell me that the Quran has been it's eternal, you know, it's always existed in word for word, letter for letter, dot for dot in the exact form that that it is in right now. Yeah, but it comes down slowly over 20 plus years, verse by verse in convenient verses that are relevant to the situation on hand, you know, and then you say to them, well, that's just Muhammad making up convenient verses, you know, claiming that it's from God, but he's just using it to to resolve whatever situation is in front of him yeah. at the time. Yeah. I mean, it, let, let me add one for you. Take a genius. Hold on. Let me add this one for you. In this one here, Omar, he said that Allah, he took from me. You see that like it's adding up. Even the prisoners, the prisoner of Badr, it was an order from Omar. Mm hmm. It's in the front of us. This is in Sahih Muslim. This is in Sahih Muslim. Hadith number 2399. The, the case of the prisoner of, of Badr and the hijab and the Kaaba is in order from, from Omar al Khattab. So now we have more and more coming. There's tons of things. If you read the Islamic books, you will not believe it. You know? <laughs> and look here, guys. Guys, read, I don't know if you can see it with me. Uh, uh, yeah. Look at this. It says here at the end. Do you see it says? So the verses, the verses, this verse, the same as I had said was revealed. Do you see it? Yes. The same word by word. The same. And this is not my translation. Yeah. <laughs> this is not my website. This is not my hadith. And this is not weak. Hey, CP, look at the third one. Once the wives of the prophet made a united front against the prophet, uh -huh. and I said to them, It may be that if he, quote, the prophet, divorced you, that his Lord, quote, Allah, will give him instead of you wives better than you. And Allah, he <laughs> took it exactly and he put it exactly there. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? Muhammad, he liked what Omar he said. He claimed that this is Allah. That's as, as simple as that. You know? He just heard it from Omar. He make a Quran, and he told him, "I received this." And Omar, obviously, he knew that Muhammad is a scam. Otherwise, what, 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 what why you are exposing him saying the same as I said? <laughs> the same. The same as I said. I said that I am the one who said that, not Allah. This is what Omar is saying to you, Muslims. Actually, is this verse actually narrated by Umar, or is it Aisha narrating it from Umar? Uh, what do you mean? Your same verse. Oh, this no, 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 you mean no, this hadith, hadith is no is narrated. This one is narrated by Omar himself. Okay. Yeah, and it is sahih. All Muslims agree upon. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's in Bukhari, and it the whole book is sahih. Yeah, yeah, but you know the Muslims they play games. I mean, well, yeah, <laughs> they, it is sahih when they want. It is weak when they want. No. Yeah. And Allah always he sent verses as Omar said, and the funny they challenge us to make Quran like the Quran. If Allah Himself is taking Quran from Omar. <laughs> anyway, my friend, thank you for calling. You are always the last to call. I, I really, I thank you for for calling us always. Well, I just, I just got off of work, so I just came in late. Yeah, welcome. Um, Good to have you. Know when we're back again. <laughs> Good to have you. Yeah, I actually, I will, I will try to make from my videos, the one I made like today. Let's say this video can be cut to many videos. I hope people they will help me to do that. You know, my time is limited. Uh, we can. We can cut this video to many topics and then we spread them around. You make them like 15 minutes. 
so I hope that some people they will start helping me and I will download from you actually uh, your your uh, uh, the cut you do because we spoke about many things and it can refute Muslims in many things and we can make them small short videos and we can spread them around again if anyone would like to rebroadcast my broadcast I have no problem with that which means if you have your own channel in Facebook or in Twitter or whatever it is and you want to broadcast or YouTube you can broadcast my broadcast live into your channel I don't mind that all right feel free I don't care really about how many people subscribe to me what I care for is how we can spread the truth and the truth will set you free this is the statement of our Lord the Messiah we are not working here for a person we are working for the glory of God and we are working for the glory of the truth we are a truth seeker we don't worship a man as the Muslim do Muslims they kill you for the worship in Muhammad we worship the truth and the truth is God for no truth but God the Muslim they believe there's no God but God and that his name is Allah which is very funny but the truth is not exist in Allah and not exist with Allah is the most confusing stupid religion and the more you study it the more you see how funny how garbage it is garbage in garbage out thank you all for being with us may the Lord bless you and until we see you again maybe tomorrow if I can but maybe tomorrow I will not be able but I will try if we can we will be here again tomorrow at 4 30 p.m. as usual Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon again bye bye